Hey, it's Aaron Kushler, and welcome to another video from EBSC. In today's video, we're following on with our three-part mini-series on improving snatch mobility, with this video looking at the ankles. The ankles play a very big role in our mobility, especially when it comes to a movement such as the snatch. The human body is an amazing thing and it's very, very good at compensating. If we've got a limited range of motion in our ankles, the body is then going to compensate further up the body for that lack of mobility in our ankles. So as you can see here, I'm exaggerating what would happen if our ankle mobility is really bad. Our shoulders are gonna have to take the brunt of it and overextend so that the the weight stays over our center of mass. So now that we can see how ankle mobility can come into play and really alter things, especially when we're performing a movement like the snatch. So I'm gonna show you now how you can go about testing yourself to see if there's a difference between right and left and see if one side's compensating for the other. So here we are doing a simple ankle mobility test, just measuring 100 mil away from a flat surface, so I'm just using a box here, so marking on the floor. Then you're gonna put your toe on that line, so just where the toe meets the line. From there, you're gonna drive your knee forward while trying to keep your heel on the ground. If you can reach the box, then you have fairly good uh, ankle mobility and squats shouldn't be an issue. You wanna do this on both legs and monitor the difference. So if there's a difference between one leg uh, over the other that might cause complications when you come to doing squats So some common faults that we would see with this is the heel Coming up off the ground you want it to be nice and straight and you want the leg to be in line with the toes So here we are this would happen if your ankle flexibility was not very good Or the knee would come in to compensate so in order to increase the range that we do have in our ankles, we need to look at releasing all the tension in the surrounding area. So namely the lower leg and the actual foot itself. So one of the areas that often gets quite tight when we're talking about dorsiflexion and ankle mobility is actually the side of our lower leg. So we've got to release all the muscles in the calf obviously to help give us a bit more range, but the, often times the muscles in the side get neglected and they grow tight from things like box jumps, running, everything that we're doing on a daily basis. If we don't stretch those out, they will restrict the movement that we do have. So a simple way of releasing the tension is using a lacrosse ball. And what I've done here is set myself up on a box so that you can have your foot off the end and you can actually move it around. Then what we're gonna do is place the ball underneath the side of our foot. So we're turned it on the side here. With our arm, putting a bit of pressure on top of our leg and already I'm starting to feel that it's quite tight and then from here we're going to move our ankle with the other hand around in small circles and you're going to feel this it's really tight and really uncomfortable but you're going to try and increase the amount of movement you can get in your ankle and then gradually move the ball up higher and higher until you find a really sore spot we're bending the ankle in all different ranges here and we're gradually working our way up. So once we've done that one, then we're gonna take a foam roller and we're just gonna place it on the ground, place our leg on top of the foam roller. If you need to, you can place the other leg on top, which is gonna give you more, obviously, pressure downwards. And then we're rolling just very slowly up and down around near that ankle area, which is often really tight, especially if you've done box jumps the day before. So we're just rolling each side you want to go for about one to two minutes on each leg so that you've got plenty of movement in those ankles. So once we've rolled out and we've released some of that tension that we've got in the lower leg, the next thing that you're going to do is take a band, attach it lower than the box that you're going to be using. What we're going to do from here is basically with the band, we're going to put our foot inside the band and have it so that it sits in the crease of our ankle. So if we were to reach forward, it's not going to uh, constrict the movement that we've got. So it's pulling down back towards the post. 
You're going to put your whole foot on top of the box and then reach forward. Now, if that's too easy for you and you want to increase it, you can grab a kettlebell and you can place that on top of your leg and then let the band pull back and your heel's going to stay on the box and your knee's going to travel forward. So we're stretching out all the muscles in the lower part of the leg here. You're going to hold this stretch for about one to two minutes on each leg. Once we've actually stretched out, we've released all the tension and now we've got some extra range of motion, what I suggest you do is actually practice the squatting technique with that new range of motion. Oftentimes what happens is we've stretched out, we've increased our range of motion, but we still can't get into those correct positions. And it's simply because our nervous system is so used to doing things with a lack of mobility and compensating so much that we're not used to actually using now that extra range of motion that we do have. So what we have to do is go back a couple of steps and actually relearn that movement with the extra range that we've got now. So really simple, start out by performing some simple air squats and allowing the knees to travel forward, utilizing that extra range in the ankles that we do actually have. This is obviously the time where you wanna fight for good positions when you don't actually have a load above your head. Then you're gonna simply progress to a dowel rod or an empty barbell and do the exact same thing. So practicing the full overhead squat. And then once you've done that, then go through the movements to actually practice the snatch. So there we have it, a really simple way to increase the range of motion in your ankles. That's gonna allow you to have more range and support more weight above your head. Hence, we're going to be able to snatch more weight. As always guys, if you found this video really helpful, make sure you like the video, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you get notified of new content that I'm gonna be releasing. And until then, I'll see you next time.